But uh, just covered and it was like all down here. Got a whole bunch out of pen too. Let's go sort. Good morning. Let's breed a bunch of cows. We got five and six, five in the shoot. And dad's just chilling in here. <laughs> and the cows are talking the talk. Mama, that has both babies here, came into heat, so hopefully she's just a rock star. Gonna give her two straws? No. <laughs> that might be questioned, you, so if she had twins, do you give her two straws? <laughs> no. So everyone was asking, they're like, did you AI last year? Is that why everybody had twins? And I was like, done. We're gonna fix this Crete feeder. That's Sterling, uh, <laughs> the dad broke. I might mic him up for it because I think it'll be fun, so. As long as they're both here, we'll have a powwow. I'm gonna be like, put this mic on you. You guys watch my videos enough, I get to buy myself $300 microphones to make the audio better, so shout out to you for making that happen. So, here we are. You know, we're not a huge channel. I don't really know if I ever like want to be a huge, huge channel. I'd rather just share my life and have fun doing it. Um, but it's the little things, so. All right, we're both mic'd up, so we'll see what this does, but I got my stuff. Dad's gonna climb in. Yeehaw. Got this. He had that orange self feeder that we talked about in the last video that we used to use for Holsteins um, back in the day. Super fun times. It was a different world back then. <laughs> um, if anyone else used self feeders to feed cattle, <laughs> I know some people still do, but uh, TMR is a lot more efficient, so there's that. Um, and this thing, he was sliding it up and it caught in the bottom leg. It's rotten. It's just old wood and it broke, so we gotta tip her over and use these bolts to hook the board back in so I can sit even. 
Here's the view. So this side's intact, as you can see. They put a nice ladder on it, what nice people. And that one's not, it's right there. All right, we have the vet come out to look at some calves quick, um, just to make sure our treatment protocol is okay, type of thing. Um, now we gotta move some gates. He's gonna try. That's perfect. Exactly. Wow. So because this lid tips down, we gotta pull this out and we'll have to put a paint on there so the calves can't get in there.
they get this big area. But there's three pens. Yeah, once we turn bolding. Oh, I got one out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's lots of babies out in this pen. Woohoo! Uh, so we're gonna put a bag of calf grower feed in the bottom here of the feeder, or, you know, in the pan. And then we'll fill the creep feeders all with the creep feed, which has a limiter in it. So essentially it controls how much they eat. We'll talk a little bit more about this, but the middle pen here is gonna have three pens because of how the bowl breeding is gonna end up lining up. So that's why they get to share that feeder and this feeder. And then pens five and six will be here on the very end. This will be four, three, two, and then pen number one will have just that much right there. So I need to go keep check though. So I'm gonna grab my paper. Mom's gonna grab some more. Aw, isn't that cute? I was gonna say, that's cute. <laughs> Trying to keep the calves from messing with that like they did last year. All farmers should own one of these. <laughs> they cost a lot, but they... Yeah, I saw. Got them wired. The plan is to build a special gate for this at some point. It just aren't that far currently. And we just gotta get it, you know, enough so they're not messing with it. Because you see, it is up. Dad's grabbing the tractor once and we'll get some creep feed. Because your baby's outside. Oh man, I'm gonna grab my sheet now to heat detect because I have not gotten that far yet. She's so concerned. Got a one off three. Alright, I got a whole bunch to breed, folks. And we're gonna scrape the alleyway and bed the barn. Big another busy time. Another busy time. Lots of them. It's only one of the pages. It's probably gonna be 15, 16, or maybe even up to 20 tonight, to be honest. So well, that's my last hurrah. Yeehaw. And one in pen one. Clean the alleyway. Woo wee! And the water fountain areas. And now it looks way better. And we'll bed shortly. Here we are again. Getting all of the junk out of the bed process. Not bad. Mom has a lot of dirt, she said. But this is not as terrible. But I gotta get the wet stuff up. <sighs> well. Neato. Oh, good. Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> oh man, I love this thing. But lately, not love this thing. It was a success, folks. It was a success. Bell processor, way better this time. 
a little bit. He said he was gonna giggle because it went well, so. Yeah. <laughs> God. All right, so I got three more to breathe a little bit later, um, but I got covered in poop and I wasn't recording, so you missed the non-PG related language that came out of my mouth. But uh, just covered and it was like all down here. But got a heat detect now and see who else I'm gonna breathe in the morning. And then anybody that doesn't come into heat will come get a, or we'll run him through in the morning for that GNRH shot. I was running to beat Kaz because I have one sorted off up here. You can see her, um, but I'm breeding later. We started her off right away and I was running like an athlete to beat her because <laughs> the other ones are going through. So if you're wondering why, I'm like, that's why. <laughs> Last three in the alleyway, dark out, let's get it. And then we're done. Unless there's a couple in the morning, which I'm gonna go check, but done for the night for sure. Clearly not at the farm anymore. I'm at home now, so thumbs up for that. All of the cows today, I successfully AI'd. So feeling really good about that. Either they were just a better bunch, <laughs> the 19 of them that I bred, or I'm just that much better with the combo of both. So thumbs up for that. I think it's just getting into the habit and just practice makes perfect and practice makes it easier. So, you know, all that good stuff. But as always, let me know if you got any questions. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.